so, my German army diddy bag. Whoops. As you can see, it's fur lined and uh, fits any position, comfortable. <laughs> I, wow. Hey campers, George here. Um, sitting here thinking about um, all my equipment when I go camping. And to be honest, uh, I'm overpacking. I noticed it, I really noticed it on my last camping trip when I went to Rice Lake. And after seeing a picture coming up now, somewhere, um, of my Hobie, just before I put it in the water, it just looked way overpacked, and I noticed it right away as soon as I got in the water, it was slow and sluggish. Now granted, my Hobie is a fishing kayak. It's not really a camping kayak. It's not a sit-in. It's a sit-on-top, but it has plenty of storage space, and I bought it with that in mind. Um, obviously, my uh, um, fishing was on my mind when I bought it. I needed something stable. It has a good review, and it's a great kayak and it holds a lot but when i got it in the water it was sluggish it felt overloaded i struggled even with uh, using the rudder and the and the pedals it was heavy in the water and i really noticed the difference once i got to my campsite and had everything out and decided to go fishing it was light and perfect again and that got me thinking and as you know i've been doing a series on uh uh, my equipment that I take camping with me, I already covered the bags, backpacks I have, and I um, did my little day pack, and I did a very quick overview of my ditty bag when I was camping, and that's what I want to cover again today, that's what I'll cover today is my ditty bag, um, which has now become my survival bag, emergency bag. Um, when I go camping, it's overnight. Um, carrying too much as far as survival and that I think I, I've got caught up with the 10 cc's and that whole thing and I think a lot of us do that and we tend to overdo it um, so I've re-looked at my ditty bag packed it again and uh, that's what I'll cover with you now and I'm going to go through my other stuff and I need to start um, reducing what I carry I think I'm, I'm overdoing it I'm carrying extras that I don't really need certainly for an overnighter if it's a longer trip then I need to look at adding more stuff and then maybe um, the kayak will get a little heavier but it, obviously it's because of the, the length of the camping trip but that's what we're going to do and we'll carry on with my series doing that this one will be about the ditty bag let's have a real close look at it what I have in it and what I carry it with me and keep in mind it is a survival kit just for a 72 hour period nothing more and just to get me through that so once again thanks for watching don't forget to like share subscribe um, any comments additions you think I should add to it do appreciate you guys watching my channel and stay with me here and we'll have a look at my German daddy bag just saying So here we are, my German Army Diddy bag. And when you look at it, um, it's four inches by about eight or nine inches and about, I'm going to say, two inches wide. Um, the first problem I noticed with it, it had these holes in it. So obviously it's not waterproof. Material's very strong. Um, I doubt if it'll tear. The, the zipper, pretty good. Um, and it has a little loop on the end here uh, and it works pretty good for me. It's small enough so let's have a look what's inside. Now inside the pouch if you look I don't know if you can see that um, let me open it up a little bit and you can see it has little pockets in it. It has two major compartments. 
one on the top one on the bottom here and then these little pouches in the middle so you can pack it up pretty good let's have a look what i had inside first off um it is not waterproof so i decided to put certain things into a plastic bag it's a ziploc bag so um just to keep everything dry and i'm just going to dump everything here and in there i had all my lighting material i had a lighter box of matches ferrocium rod and a ferrocium rod and striker um, so that was in the bag and i have some fire starter tinder which is the uh, those cotton rolls i want to call them that have been treated so you just break them up and you light them and they'll keep a fire going while you stack it up a headlight um, ooh, uh, which has obviously pretty good light on it takes a uh, AAA batteries and in the bag I had some AAA batteries three of them somewhere here they are here just spare batteries that I carry in there in the water when the waterproof bag I have this which uh, is one of my favorite little things and it's just a pen light that becomes a lantern and it uses AAA batteries as well so that's what the spares are for some cordage folding saw I have some lotion because I really suffer with that um, magnesium fire starter I don't know what you'd call this magnesium rod I suppose and it has a striker on it lotion bug spray and this is just uh, a spoon combination uh, tool that I have with me has a couple of things on it handy to have and then I carry this which is my battery charger it's a backup battery charger I always always have my camera with me which is my my cell phone and I carry that with me at all times and this is used as a backup for that so there's that and then I have my handy dandy silver compass and that's what I have in there and I think that that is more than enough for a 72 hour overnighter I think with that I'd be fine um, like I said when I'm camping you know I have a jungle blanket I have an emergency blanket I have a couple of other things that I have with me so I think I'm good with that so that shouldn't be too bad and I think I can keep all that stuff it is kind of heavy and it and like I said I have like three or four different fire starters which I think is important um, a fire it serves three main purposes one keeps you warm dries you out will keep most animals away from you at night and the other thing is is if you're going to get a fire going and sit at the fire overnight it makes you feel better it's a psychological thing so it feels you've accomplished something you feel better when you have the fire you have warmth and comfort so that's why i have the fire starters i have a compass so i can get back I do have lights, I have a saw to cut wood to make fire, and cordage, uh, which would probably help to make a very basic shelter. So there you go, German Army ditty bag. I'll put everything in and show you what it looks like. So here you go. This is everything in the ditty bag. Um, all the stuff I need to make sure stays dry is in the in the plastic bag. My compass, my charger, which is waterproof my uh, little eating multi-tool utensil my saw uh, bug spray lotion so it fits in there all pretty good and uh, not a bad little bag the best part about it was i found it in a surplus store and it cost me a whopping buck fifty i was actually looking for a food bag and uh, i found this but i wanted a real waterproof food bag and uh, small enough to work for me so i i found one um at cabela's that is a small dry bag 
and it's small enough for me that I think it'll work for my food thing and I will be covering that. If it works and it works fine, then that's what I'm going to stay with. It's small enough where it's not going to take up a lot of room and that's what I need to do. I need to uh, get rid of a lot of extra stuff, make things smaller so I'm not overloading myself. I find I'm doing that a lot and I'm afraid uh, a lot of us suffer from that. We get caught up in the whole survival uh, 10 cc's thing and we it becomes overkill. German army ditty bag, my new uh, survival kit that I'll be taking camping with me. Um, one other thing, this does fit nicely into the pouch of my Alice pack for walk-in camping. And of course in my kayak, it'll fit in no problem. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe, you know the whole story. And appreciate you all watching and following on with me. Just saying, thanks. Bye.